morning and beautiful you. Have you ever wondered what products are really inside makeup artist beauty kits? Well, here to share some of her, their secrets and tricks is makeup artist Kirsten Brucey. Good morning. Hello. How are you? I am great. I gotta Good. say, you're gonna give us some uh, secrets behind your own makeup I'm bag. I'm gonna spill the beans. We <laughs> love that. Okay. Uh, first and foremost. Classic powder puff. Gotta love that yes, one. Yes, I love those. You can go to Sally Beauty and buy them. They come in a pack of two. Mm -hmm. and those are like your secret weapon. They're your magic eraser. So if you do your makeup and you mess up a little bit, okay. you can just take one and make like a little taco with it. Mm -hmm. And then just buff. Like if you have a little bit of a mess, or if you have too much blush on or bronze, or you can just go over your whole face and take off the extra layer and okay. blend it a little bit. A little so quick these will fix. save you. We were yeah. mentioning before too, if you've ever like attempted something before a date and it goes awry, this there, will this that, will help you, will out. help you out. Apparently, this will too. That will too. I love this, and whenever I put that on a client, they're like, "What is that?" Because <laughs> it smells amazing. Mm -hmm. So I use it before I apply makeup, and it's sort of like Gatorade for your face it has vitamins and minerals in it so it'll like perk up your skin okay and then I apply it afterwards to set your makeup and what this does is it sort of blends everything together and gives it that flawless airbrushed look it's amazing who doesn't love that make yeah. it look like someone did it professionally when you're just That's at home right. um, now I've heard of lip liner but this is reverse so liner. So there are those women that would like their lips to look a little bit larger mm -hmm. and they take their lip liner and draw it sort of above their lip line, which gives a very sort of unnatural yeah. look. So a better way to go about it is to use a nude colored lip liner okay. and apply it on the outer line of your lips and focus it on the cupid's bow. And then you want to blend it in a little bit and throw on your lip gloss and it gives the illusion of bigger lips without that obvious lip liner look. Nice. And how about here? You got some blush. I brought blush to explain the two finger rule, which is important. So when you put on your blush, you want to set two fingers next to your nostrils, kind of like this. Okay. And, then, and then you just want to make sure that you don't so put blush sides. there, like this. So don't put blush here right. on the outside. Yes. Yeah. So put it here. It's a good rule of yeah, thumb. It's a, a good rule one. of fingers, I should it's say. Um, now, how about this? That is a highlighter, and it's called High Beam by Benefit. And um, the makeup artists like to call this facelift in a bottle because it just give, it brightens up your face, but it also lifts you visually. Ah. So you want to pop that just on your cheekbone, right above your blush, a little bit to give you that light lightness and that glow from within that you see on the red carpet. All great little secrets and tricks. Another trick that I love, I mean, I, I thought Visine was just for the eyes. So in a pinch, this is not something that you want to put on at night to, to you know, make your pimple get better, but in a pinch you can apply it. It'll take down the redness, and if you have a big night out and you have a pimple emergency, put that on. It'll take down the redness and the swelling and wow. just throw some concealer over. Going to have to throw that in my yeah. bag, too. And lastly, um, the eyelashes. So the eyelashes, so everybody needs an eyelash curler. Mm -hmm. That is a given, um, and it surprises me how many people don't use it. Even if you don't wear a stitch of makeup, if you just curl your lashes, it really opens up your eyes. And then to take it to the next level, if you have a big event coming up, once you're mm -hmm. done your makeup, you just take a couple of these That's little so um, lash extensions and just throw them on the outer corners, and it really gives you that sort of glamorous okay. eye. So you, you don't have to worry about that whole strip of no, lashes those apply. are just a so couple here tricky. And there. So these take a little bit of practice, but you know, you just kind of want to wedge them in between your lashes, your existing lashes, and it'll just give you that little bit of the nice. smoky cat eye. You know, it's a fun thing to do for a night. Tips out. and tricks from the expert herself. Thank you so much <laughs> for coming for in me. and sharing your beauty secrets. If you missed anything that Kirsten mentioned, you can get the full list of tips and tricks on our website, WPRI.com.